With communicating controls, it's pretty simple as far as the wiring is concerned. It is a four-wire connection between the user interface and the communicating indoor unit. A, B, C, and D. A and B is communications, C and D is 24 volt power. On the older outdoor units, we used to have a four wire connection. Okay, same thing, A, B, C, and D. But we caught, caught some ideas and said, hey, wait a minute, there's so many applications out there, retrofit applications, where there's only two wires pulled from, a, from indoor to outdoor. So what we did was we made some changes in the outdoor unit so now it's just a two wire application. Outdoor unit has power to the board whenever there's unit power. So makes it a little bit easier for, uh, for retrofit applications. And again, the way we did it is you look outside, there's a transformer. Whenever the outdoor unit has power, it supplies power to the circuit board, then we have the ability to communicate. For those of you that do installation and startup, this is an important thing. We're going to talk about it later on. When you're, making, when you're doing your original installation, if you have a two-wire application, you better make sure that the disconnect is on at the outdoor unit. Because if it's not, what happens? You get no power, right? So if this is not powered, is it going to find an outdoor unit? No, it's not. Right. Happens to everybody once. <laughs> 